Hello, my friend. Welcome to the Believe You Are a Good Mom podcast. I'm Emily Wardrop from Drop the Word Life Coaching, where we help moms of young kids drop power struggle wars to create more peace in their parenting. Do you want to be a good mom? I will tell you the one simple secret of how to be a good mom. You already are. Don't believe me? You've come to the right place. I'm glad you're here. I've got you. Because when you truly believe you are a good mom, everything will change for you as you live into the truth of who you've always been. Let's get started. Good morning, my friends. Today is a special episode called Story Time. We haven't done a story time in a long time, like since Christmas. And now Easter has passed also. Let's do another story time because I was reading my favorite book to my kids last night. And of course, when the word good pops up, I'm like, whoop, whoop. <laughs> it always uh, is a fun little flag for me that I'm like, ooh, what are we talking about? Because this is the Believe You Are a Good Mom podcast. And I have a story for you to help you believe that you are a good mom. Okay. No. The story is called You Are Special by Max Lucado. If you're not familiar, go buy it right now. (laughs) You can get it on Amazon or wherever. And um, I mean, you can watch someone read it to you on YouTube (laughs) and see the cute pictures. Uh, I'm not going to try to recreate a YouTube video showing you the pictures. So just go buy the book to see the adorable pictures. But the story is so impactful. And my, how old is she? she's almost six year old was saying that she didn't remember the story. I'm like, holy cow, has it been that long since I've read this? I need to read this to them every night and I've been slacking. So I'm going to read it to all of you today. You are special by Max Lucado. The Wemmicks were small wooden people carved by a woodworker named Eli. Each Wemmick was different. Some had big noses, others had large eyes, some were tall and others were, I always wait for the kids to say small, but actually it's short. Some were tall and others were short. They're used to things rhyming. (laughs) This book doesn't rhyme. Each Wemmick had a box of golden star stickers and gray dot stickers. The wooden people went around the village sticking stars or dots on one another. The pretty ones got stars. Wemmicks with rough wood or chipped paint got dots. The talented ones got stars, too. Some could jump over tall boxes or sing pretty songs. Others, though, could do little. They got dots. Punchinello was one of these. He tried to jump high like the others, but he always fell, so the Wemmix would give him dots. When he tried to explain why he fell, he would say something silly, so the Wemmix would give him more dots. He deserves lots of dots, the wooden people would say. After a while, Punchinello believed them. He believed them. I'm going to put my little commentary in here too, because <laughs> you can read the book yourself, but the point of the podcast is my commentary, right? So after a while, poor Punchinello believed them. I guess I'm not a good Wemmick, he decided. So he stayed inside most of the time. When he did go outside, he hung around other Wemmicks who had lots of dots. He felt better around them. One day he met a different kind of Wemmick named Lucia. She had no dots or stars. The Wemmicks admired Lucia for having no dots, so they would give her a star, but it would fall off. Others gave her a dot for having no stars, but it wouldn't stay either. That's the way I want to be, thought Punchinello. So he asked Lucia how she did it. It's easy, she replied. Every day I go visit Eli the woodcarver. Why? You'll find out if you go see him. Then Lucia turned and skipped away. But will he want to see me, Punchinello wondered. Later at home, he sat and watched the wooden people giving each other stars and dots. It's not right, he muttered to himself, and he decided to go see Eli. Punchinello walked up the narrow path and stepped into Eli's shop. His eyes grew big. The stool was as tall as he was. He had to stretch on tiptoe to see the top of the workbench. Punchinello swallowed hard. I'm not staying here. Then he heard his name, Punchinello. The voice was deep and strong. How good to see you. Come, let me have a look at you. Punchinello looked up. You know my name? Of course, I made you. And my kids make fun of me here. Mom, why are you crying? (laughs) Because I always cry at this part. (laughs) Eli picked him up and set him on the bench. Looks like you've been given some bad marks, said the maker. I didn't mean to, Eli. I really tried hard. Punchinello. 
I don't care what the other women think. You don't? No, you shouldn't either. What they think doesn't matter. All that matters is what I think, and I think you are pretty special. Punchinello laughed. Me? Special? Why? I'm not very talented and my paint is peeling. Why do I matter to you? Eli spoke very slowly. Because you're mine. That's why you matter to me. Punchinello didn't know what to say. Every day I've been hoping you'd come, Eli explained. I came because I met Lucia, said Punchinello. Why don't the stickers stick on her? The maker spoke softly. Because she has decided that what I think is more important than what others think. The stickers only stick if you let them. What? The stickers only stick if they matter to you. The more you trust my love, the less you care about their stickers. I'm not sure I understand. Eli smiled. You will, but it will take time. For now, come and see me every day and let me remind you how much I care. Eli left Punchinello. Eli lifted Punchinello off the bench and set him on the ground. Remember, Eli said to Punchinello, as Punchinello was leaving, you are special because I made you, and I don't make mistakes. Punchinello didn't stop, but in his heart he thought, I think he really means it. And when he did, a dot fell to the ground. So good. Okay, so this is the board book version. There's like a hardcover, soft cover, whatever. The big book has more details. <laughs> We're all about board books around here. <laughs> We've had it for a long time. Maybe we should upgrade to the longer story. But you get the idea. Love it so much. So I'm going to share some principles from this book, which starting with the good, right? So where's the page where it talks about good? Okay. So, believe you are a good mom. Punchinello started believing people who were giving him the dots, and he concluded that that meant he was not a good Wemmick. Has this happened to you? Have you felt the judgment of other people, and you've made it mean that you're not a good mom? Then what did he do? He stayed inside most of the time. We hide in shame, right? When we make other people's judgments mean that there's something wrong with us, then we cower and we hide in shame. And the world does not have us in it. The world is not as amazing of a place as it would be if we were not hiding in shame, right? If we were letting our lights shine, our imperfect lights, the, nobody ever said Punchinello was perfect, so he should go ahead and not care what other people are thinking. They can give me dots all day long. I know, whatever, according to their judgments. Yeah, I deserve those dots. But that doesn't mean I have to believe them or even believe myself, right? When my own brain is trying to give me dots. So he hung out with other people with lots of dots, right? He felt better around them. Do we do that too? Or we just commiserate with each other <laughs> and we all just kind of keep each other stuck under all the dots? Or do we find a friend like Lucia? So let me tell you a random side story. We acted this book out on my mission at a Christmas party. <laughs> so random. Like we did a little play and I got to be Lucia. It was so fun. And so there's this picture of Lucia in the book where she has her like elbows bent and her hands out. And so I said this line. This was like my claim to fame, my line <laughs> in the play on my mission. I said, bien. Me da puntitos y estrellas, pero no se pegan. And I do my little hands, just like her in the picture of the book. And so my kids like it when I say that part. Bien me da puntitos y estrellas, pero no se pegan. So they do give me dots and stars, but they just don't stick, right? And you do your little hands like her cute little picture in here. So that's fun. I get to be Lucia. And that's my goal in life, right, is I want to be Lucia. I want to show people that the dots and stars don't have to stick. Yeah, people give them to me for sure. But I get to decide whether they stick or not. And the secret of how we don't let them stick is we visit Eli every day. Every day we need to be reminded who we are, who made us, and that we are special. And that God does not make mistakes. You're not a mistake. You make mistakes. <laughs> but that doesn't mean you are a mistake. You are good. God is good. He made you. And he said, it is very good. 
and he didn't retract that when you were born, <laughs> right? Or when you started making mistakes, you're still good. So don't believe the dot lies. Yeah, we're imperfect. Yeah, we deserve dots. So what? We also deserve stars, but neither of them need to stick when we know who we are, who made us, and that he loves us, and that God's opinion is the only one that matters. It doesn't matter what other people think of us. And we can't let what we think of ourselves overshadow what God thinks of us either. We got to clean up our own thoughts about ourselves. Right? Oh, it's so good. I love this story. So, Punchinello heard his name. Have you heard God call your name lately? Is he reaching out to you, trying to remind you that he loves you? He's always there. We have to make the little trek up to his house every day. We can do that through prayer, meditation, scripture study, prayer, <laughs> intentional, thoughtful prayers, or just in the heat of the moment, panicked, like frantic, please help me <laughs> prayers, right? All day long, we need God to remind us that he made us, he doesn't make mistakes, he loves us, and that that's all that matters. And then the judgments of ourselves, especially the judgments of other people, they don't matter. They fall right off when we remember who we are and when we believe that we are good. Instead of choosing to believe the lies, I'm not a good women, he decided. Ah, oh, it's heartbreaking. Do not decide that you're not a good mom. It is not helpful. It's not useful. It's a lie. And just stop it, <laughs> right? You can choose to believe whatever you want. Choose to believe that you are a good mom. Just like cute little Punchinello is a good women. And Eli reminded him. So that's my message for today. Thank you for listening. If this was fun and you want to share it with someone who's feeling like they're covered in dots and need to be reminded who they are, please do. Um, everyone needs a friend like Lucia to remind them that they are good and that God loves them no matter what, even if and especially when. That is why Jesus Christ came to the earth, suffered and died for our mistakes so that we can learn and grow and develop. And it's the whole entire point of this life. So don't let those mistakes go unlearned from, right? Let's continue to pick ourselves up and try again. And it's the resistance and the repetition that build the strength, right? So you got this, Mama. I'll talk to you next time. Thanks. Bye. Hi, thanks so much for listening. Have you signed up for your RBC yet? What is an RBC? Well, it's a relationship boost call. And I am gifting 365 of these for free this year. So go to dropthewar.com forward slash appointments to find a time that works for both of us. We'll hop on Zoom for a quick 15 to 20 minutes. And all you got to do is have somebody in mind that you want to improve your relationship with. It's fun. It's easy. It's a good time. You're going to feel amazing afterwards and no strings attached. Just come on, have a great free coaching call and then go on your way. And you can come back for as many as you need because we know it's no one and done around here with relationships. So go to dropthewar.com forward slash appointments to find a time that works for both of us. And let's get boosting those relationships. See you there. Bye.